everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial. This week's scrapbook layout is one of when me and my mum had a day at Disneyland in Shanghai. It was an amazing day, absolutely. Just, yeah, we were big kids. I've already done a scrapbook layout of when we went on the ride Tron. I think that was a few months ago now. This was September last year that we went. And I've just got these really nice photos that I've printed with my mini printer and I thought I'm going to do a nice layout. So I purchased the colour play papers here from Louise at Thompson's Craft Supplies and they are called A Day at the Park. So they are Disney themed and you've got teacups there which I will be using. You've got Mickey and Minnie Mouse ears. You've got all those lovely cutouts there with just lovely sayings on them. You've got camera print, polka dot print roller coaster prints all sorts so at the minute i'm just playing around really i had a kind of you know loose idea of what i wanted to do but i wanted to kind of see how it was going to work against all the papers so what i'm going to do is a half and half so this is this black like grid pattern which you're probably thinking got all those lovely papers and she's chosen the black one but i wanted something that the photos were really going to stand out against and I wanted it to really help the pattern paper shine. So I'm having half with the black grid paper and then the other half here is gonna be with the teacups. So I'm just trimming them. They're roughly six by 12. Well, it's just under 12 actually because I've got that white 12 by 12 piece of cardstock behind. So these end up being cut to, I think it's about five and three quarters by 11 and three quarters. Now the white that I originally had there didn't look right, so I decided to go for red. So now you can see, I just think that frames much, much better. So I'm just sticking down this one, just with double-sided tape. And this, this cardstock is wonderful, such good quality, and it's really shiny. So you can see you get a lot of glare from my camera. And um, I couldn't use wet glue with this. Wet glue, it was just sliding everywhere. It was almost like sticking acetate onto acetate. So I had to use my double-sided tape for pretty much everything on this. So I'm just there, I'm literally butting them right up to each other. So there's a really nice join and then you just get that tiny kind of one eighth of an inch border all around the four sides. So there's my kind of base. So now I'm bringing these photos back in again and I just want to kind of have them like staggered. I wasn't sure on the order. I changed it up quite a lot throughout the layout. Again, didn't really take me too long to do. Um, I just speed this up to double speed and just, you know, take out the bits where I'm kind of cutting too much or sticking too much. But otherwise it, it doesn't take too long. It's, it's within, you know, 45 minutes, something like that. So I'm just going through there and you can just see I've just trimmed down all of those. They're about two by three. These, um, they're great for journaling and things like that, but I just wanted to bring in a few of them to have on this layout. So you've got the pack your bags, you've got all the little cameras, I've got Mickey's ears there which I definitely wanted to use which you can now see I'm starting to fussy cut out. You know the the lovely tartan kind of background was lovely but I wanted this one to have on top of the teacup paper that I've got there. So I'm just carefully going around there just with my X cut snips just to get a really nice shape and you can see now I pull it down because the glare from my camera on that shiny cardstock was annoying but you can see there that's going to kind of just hang off to the side so then I'm going through again and cutting out all of those ones which I've just all of a sudden quickly done and I've got that photo op which was below all of those cameras and I keep that as well so as I always do I'm just going to mat my photos now onto this yellow polka dot Again, I just thought it was a really nice colour and it the red background brings out the red teacups. This yellow brings out the yellow teacups. So I just wanted to bring in those kind of th three or four colours really. This was all really easy to line up because I just lined it up with the polka dots because they were in strips and in, you know, straight lines. The grid paper obviously was really easy. So I was able to get really kind of clean and that's what I kind of went for with this. Usually I'm a bit haphazard and I kind of do things in all directions. But with this one, I kept things very straight. So you can see that I'm just carefully kind of lining it all up. So I've put some double-sided tape and a little bit of my tacky glue to stick the ears down here. And I'm just lining it up with the edge of the teacup and then a paper. And then I'm just laying down this lovely gold foil washi tape. I just thought, you know, with the yellows and the blacks and the reds, the gold went really, really well. So I just brought that through just to have a strip right through the middle. Now, I didn't want those photos just on the black because again I just started to look at it and thought it looks a bit too black so I'm bringing in two one by about 11 and three quarter inch strips here and I'm going to have them sat behind 
the photos. So there's two strips running there. So it's almost like they're attached to the strips. Well, they will literally be attached, but you know what I mean? It's like they were kind of hanging down. And um, I just thought that kind of broke up all that black area behind. So I'm just laying it down at the front, at the bottom there, and then just making sure. And I'm just lining it up with, with certain lines there on that grid paper just to make sure it all stays really straight. But it, again, it was really easy to be able to make sure I stayed in line and everything was, was the same. So again, just starting to play around with what photos I wanted where. And I think that is how I, yeah, stick with them. As you can see that I'm just kind of counting with my fingers to make sure I get the same amount of squares between the two there. So I've stuck them on some foam adhesive, just again, just to bring some dimension because it's a very, very flat layout. So, that, you know, there's no like flowers and butterflies and bows and stuff on this one. So again, I'm just counting down the squares just to make sure I've got the exact gap. And then I've just gone and done the other ones there. So you can see they're now all in place. And I really, really like that. I think it just shows off the photos really nicely. So now I want to create like a little cluster down in the teacup side towards the bottom right. And I've got all these lovely little cameras and I thought on every mini photo, I'm going to have a little camera. So they're all now stuck down. And the bits there where it says you, me and all of our favourite characters, which I've now just completely covered up. <laughs> None of that's stuck down yet. I was kind of playing around. So I'm just flicking through all my sticker packs, my alphabet packs. Now, usually I do a title, but because the you, me and all of our favourite characters was really quite big, I just thought more wording on top of that just would have looked a bit too much. So this doesn't have a title in the way that I usually do a title. I thought, you know, I'm going to just keep it as it is. And then it's got also this way to new adventures. So it had enough writing. Now I've got my Rosie Studio little puffy stickers. These ones are nearly gone now, but I've got Major Moment, which I've just stuck there. Then below my mum is Love This. Then below me, I will stick Totally Rad. And below Goofy is Choose Happy. Now the photo of me and my mum, it's all really kind of blurred in the background. That's when we were actually on the teacups. So that's why I used the teacup paper. We were spinning each other around. We had like a wheel in the middle for those of you that haven't been or haven't been on the ride. There's a big wheel in the middle and you move the wheel to go faster and spin even faster. And I took these photos and they came out brilliantly. They were only done on my camera, but the, the real kind of clearness of us and then the blurred background, it just, they were great photos. So I thought I'd add them in with the teacups. So now I'm sticking everything down again with foam adhesive and a little bit of tacky glue just for good measure. Make sure it all stays down. And I'm just layering up, forming that little cluster. I wanted to cut that black piece out. I don't regret doing it. It was a little bit rough. I think the blade on that wasn't particularly great, but it still looks okay. So I'm just again popping the foam little square on the back there. And um, again, a little bit of tacky glue just to keep it all raised and just to give it a little something and uh, and get that all stuck down. It starts to really come together. And these are all just those cutouts on the paper. So if, we, if you fussy cut them even more, then I just think, yeah, just again, gives it that little extra. A couple of suitcases there just to add in for good measure. And it was just really, yeah, came together very quickly. Now that gold strip through the middle, the more I looked at it, I thought it needs to be broken up a little bit. So I've done a very thin, this was about a quarter of an inch by 11 and three quarters. I've just put some red, double-sided tape on the back and pop that through the middle and it also covered up where the Mickey's ears were joined there was a slight kind of imprint really from that coming through the gold washi tape and it bugs me so by covering over with that yellow strip it, it eliminated that this is that photo op bit of writing and I've just framed it with some of that black grid cardstock that I had left over and again pop a few foam dimensionals there and you can see I've popped it just above my mum there with these Rosie Studio uh, faceted gemstones and I'm just sticking them down adding a little bit of double um, the wet glue just again just to make sure it all stays nice and secure so I've used the white ones on the black side and then the black on the other side and there you have it really really nice and again when you do scrapbook layouts it just takes you back to that moment I was thinking about all the fun we had and we've already said we can't wait to go to the next Disney park and have a day you know being big kids so there it is really really fun lots of color it's just a really happy one you can't help but smile when you look at it and yeah see my mum there she did she absolutely loved it and she had these big well we both did the big popcorn um in mickey's ears they're like these containers and we had them when actually they're in our craft rooms so again nice little reminders for us but yeah there you have it as always nice quick little video just for you to get some inspiration and hopefully scrapbook yourself so i hope you've enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more 
Thanks for watching. Bye.